at six. First, the highlights. Lagos State's government describes conduct of common entrance examination as seamless. Federal government to spend three Chilean naira on new wage, pension, and gratuities. On the foreign scene, Ukrainian nationalist member of parliament shot dead in the western city of Viv. In the sport, Edo Quinns to no group opponents for Wafubi Women's Champions League. Now the details. I am Taiwo Barua. Commissioner for Basic and uh, Secondary Education in Lagos State, Jamiwa Libalugu, has described the conduct of the common entrance examination by basic six pupils across the state as seamless. While speaking with journalists after monitoring and supervising some of the schools, Ali Balugu noted that the exercise was calm and well organized despite the minor hitches encountered. The commissioner who debunked Rumors making the rounds that schools were collecting a sum of 300 naira from the student asked members of the public to report any school courts perpetuating any illegality. He urged parents and guardians to join government in reducing the number of out of school children by ensuring that their children wards are registered in schools across the state because it is free at basic and secondary level. We are futuristic, as we've done with the uh, model colleges. We are going to introduce a CBT exam for peoples, and it has worked for the model colleges entrance exam. And we will re replicate some in no distant future for the placement exam into the uh, secondary school in Lagos State. Schools visited include the St. Agnes Nazarene Primary School, Maryland, St. Paul Catholic Nazarene Primary School, Ibutimeta, and L and A Primary School, Amokoko. The Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, La Soda, has enjoined members of society to support persons with disabilities, PWDs, while recognizing their boundless creativity and potential. General Manager of La Soda, Adeni Kyo Yitsunde Lawal, made the call at the 2024 Ability Expo organized by the agency with the theme, 2024 Ability Expo, showcasing creativity. Oyetune Lawal said the expo was to showcase the remarkable talent, creativity, diverse skills, and innovative abilities of PWDs and their significant contributions to the society. She noted that events like the Ability Expo held break down stereotypes and raise awareness about accessibility needs, stressing the importance of providing an avenue where people with disabilities can showcase their creativity and demonstrate that beyond disability lies ability. The federal government has fined the parents' company on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, Meta Platforms Incorporated, the sum of $220 million for an author unauthorized appropriation of personal data without user consent and discriminatory practices against Nigerian users. The government made this known in a statement by the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC. FCCPC said the decision was taken after its joint investigation with the Nigeria Data Protection Commission and DPC revealed extensive and ongoing violations of Nigerian laws following a comprehensive 38-month investigation into its data privacy practices and market behavior. According to the statement, between May 2021 and December 2023, the investigation scrutinized Meta's privacy policies and practices, uncovering multiple infringement of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Act Act and the Nigeria Data Protection Regulation. Now to the rest of the stories, the federal government says it is set to spend three million naira on the new minimum wage and the payment of pensions and gratuities. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Atiku Bagudu, said this journey meeting with the Senate Committee on Appropriations, chaired by Olamile Kwadiola, 
The minister presented the general principles of the newly amended 2024 budget to the committee at the meeting. The recurrence budget of three trillion naira will fund the minimum wage, pensions, and gratuities, while the capital component of 3.2 trillion naira will augment existing road projects on state and federal roads, including coastal roads, the Sokoto Badagri Road, railway construction, and dam irrigation. It will be recorded that President Tinumbu had, after a meeting with the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress, the Trade Union Congress, on approved a minimum wage of 70,000 naira for Nigerian workers. The President also pledged to review the national minimum wage law every three years. And the National Association of Nigerian Student Nantes has called on the National Youth Service Corps. NYC not to discriminate against the student who completed their national diploma in D under the daily part-time programs DPP and then went for their higher national diploma H and D full time from being mobilized for the mandatory one year service. Nance said such students should be mobilized for the mandatory one year NYC program immediately. The position of the association was made known by the Senate President, Akinta Yafiz, who describes the action of the NYC as unacceptable to the student body. Yafiz urged the Ministry of Education to act promptly to address this critical issue and ensure a just outcome for all affected students. In foreign news, a former Ukrainian nationalist member of parliament has died after being shot on the street in the western city of Lviv. Ian Farain caused controversy in 2023 by suggesting that two patriots of Ukraine should not speak Russian under any circumstances, as it is the language of the aggressor country. Her words provoked a strong reaction in Ukraine at the time, with people accusing her of inciting hatred based on linguistic preferences. The 60-year-old linguistic professor's killing is being investigated, and police say it may have been a targeted killing, and her attacker has not been identified due to a power outage, which affected CCTV in the area. In sport now, Edo Queens will know their group opponent in the Wafu B Women's Champions League next week, Wednesday. The Confederation of African Football have announced that the draw for the competition will hold at its headquarters in Cairo, Egypt. Edo Queens will be participating in the competition for the first time after the Moses Aduku side won the Nigerian title in May. The competition will take place between 10th and 23rd of August in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. The winner will represent the zone in the CAF Women's Champions League. And that's it on the news at 6. But just before we go, slow down at road junctions, intersections, and pedestrian crossings. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X, at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songulu administration renovated 197 public schools across the state? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. <music> Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education in Lagos State, Jamio Ali Balogun, has described the conduct of the common entrance examinations by basic six pupils as seamless across the state. The federal government says it is set to spend three trillion naira on the new minimum wage and the payment of pensions and gratuities. We also told you that a former Ukrainian nationalist MP has died after being shot on the street in the western city of Lviv. Finally, in sport, Edo Queens will know their group opponent in the Wafubi 
Women's Champions League next week, Wednesday. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at Traffic Radio 961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adesua Ejoyoka. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening. <laughs>